Jalen Brown has agreed to sign the richest deal in NBA history. A five-year, $304 million Supermax contract extension. His agent told ESPN's Mark Spears on Tuesday, Brown became eligible for the five-year Supermax extension with the Celtics upon earning second-team All-NBA honors in 2022-2023. Brown slated to make $52.3 million when the contract first kicks in during the 2024-2025 season and $69.1 million in 2028-2029, the final year of the deal. He's not eligible for a no-trade clause because he signed an extension. A lot of numbers to marinate on right there, but I can tell you, it's the richest in NBA history. Stephen A? First of all, I'm happy for Jalen Brown. He's a good brother, conscientious, a star in this league, can flat out ball. But the first thing I thought about when I saw that deal is, Lord have mercy, what is Jason Tatum going to get? Because Jalen Brown, for all that he is, the one thing he is not is the best player on the Boston Celtics. That would happen to be Jason Tatum. And so if the Celtics were willing to pay $304 million over the next five years uh, to keep Jalen Brown, just imagine what they're going to be willing to pay to keep Jason Tatum. Because let me tell you something, it's going to be more than $304 million. Uh, Jalen Brown, I'm not going to crucify him the way other people have in terms of how he played in the closeout game yep. in the playoffs in Game 7 against Miami. I remember him in the finals, and he was a better player than Jason Tatum in the NBA Finals against Golden State the year before. So you have your ups, you have your downs, but he works hard. He shows up all the time. He's a star in this league. He plays on both ends of the floor. He doesn't cheat the game. Yeah. He shows up in the lineup, doesn't engage in load management and all of this other stuff. Jason Tatum, I'm okay. happy for him, but he's getting what the market allows. Let me just say one more thing before RC jumps in here. Stephen A, they've gone the distance the last few seasons, right? Deep into the postseason. They haven't gotten the job done. Right. Does this do anything in making a step forward to win? I think so. I, well, well, it's continuity because you got to remember Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are 25 and 26 years yeah. old. And so you're talking about yep. a young nucleus in place that's got a decade left in their game. Yep. And this makes perfect sense because, again, you not only get paid for your level of, project, uh, of production, mm -hmm. but the projection of what your production will be down the line. Yeah. And age plays a significant role in that sometimes. If Jason, if Jalen Brown was 34, 35 years of age, that's not the contract he would get. But the fact that he's about 26 years of age, he, for five years, he's in the prime of his career while he's getting this bag. Yeah. So that is a good investment by the Boston Celtics because the reality is, is that even though they didn't win the championship, they have been knocking on the door. They, have. they are right there. They were in the conference finals in the game seven this year. They were in the NBA finals the year before. Yeah. They, this is their fifth time in the conference finals yeah. since Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum have been there. Um, this is a worthy investment by Brad Stevens and the Boston Celtics. And Jalen Brown is a really, really good dude. He's a consummate professional and a yep. leader. Again, 304, RC. greatest contract yep. for a second-team guy. I get it. But, hey, you got to do that for your Boston Celtics. You RC, didn't. what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, Stephen A., I watch you guys a ton on NBA Countdown. And after last year's debacle against the Golden State Warriors, which was more on Jason Tatum, and then what we saw against the Miami Heat, there's been question of do you keep Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum together? Because these are two players that have a very similar skill set and play the game pretty much in the same way. And so now Jalen Brown getting this contract, which I think the NBA PA does a great job of setting these max contracts so players like Jalen Brown, who are all-stars, who are all NBA players, can get the money that they deserve. It's what's the next step going forward? How do we beat the Miami Heat? How do we win versus the Golden State Warriors? Because you've let your grit get out of the building. Marcus Smart is now in Memphis. Grant Williams is now in Dallas. And that was the toughness that was brought by this team. And so if you're going to sign Jalen Brown to a contract like this, there can be no more lulls in the playoffs. When you're faced with Jimmy Butler and you're faced with an undermanned Miami Heat team, Jalen Brown has well, to show up now. And if Jason Tatum is going to get the same sort of deal, there can be no more we fell short or we were in the running. It's going to have to equate to banners because that's what the Boston Celtics are about. At least a couple of banners, no doubt about that, number one. Number two, I'll say this. 
I hate the fact that they lost Marcus Smart because he's a heart and soul of that team. I think it's going to help Memphis and John Morant immensely. But they did pick up Chris Stapps Porzingis. He is 7'3". 7'3". Yes. Uh, just finished averaging over 20 this year. Uh, can shoot the three. Mm. And also can provide size in the interior, which is something you need because Robert Williams can't play yeah. more than half of his games throughout the year because of injury. And Al Horford is 37 going on 50, even though he could play mm. and shoot. The fact is, is that you needed a younger, taller body. So the fact that you have that takes less of the defensive pressure off of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown you. helping out in the low post. And as a result of that, again, with their money and what you're investing in them, you've got the pieces around them. I think as a roster, the Boston, this is the biggest thing, RC, the Boston Celtics legitimately mm. should be seen, in my opinion, as the favorites to win it all. Considering oh, their just roster, the, not mm. just the favorites in the East. Yeah, now with Porzingis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, with Porzingis, that gotcha. size to go with Horford and Robert yeah. Williams, with Tatum, with Brown, with Derek White, with Malcolm Brogdon, the reigning Sixth Man of the Year. I mean, you look yeah. at their squad; they're top eight dudes. There is no reason why the Boston Celtics shouldn't win the championship. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.